ببیم این کرید را هم روی برایینی هر بایید میدون پنر اینی اختیون راوه انده ایده داوه مرولاد ما نیدوی چی همی مرولاد این بیای مرولاد چی تن او که پروی و داوری چی هم Right, the Welsh stand in rock. Let the Minnedigwaia light the Welsh fire of resistance. The decision to hand Welsh common land to the German company RWE Energy against the protests of the local people is treason against the Welsh people. For 25 years, the people of the Minnedigwaia have been fighting to protect this land. And finally, it is the Welsh Assembly after an inquiry that has betrayed them and handed the land over to RWE for a windfall. This action speaks volumes about the Welsh Assembly, that extension of the British state in Wales. Between 1795 and 1874, some 1,696,827 acres of Welsh land belonging to the common people was enclosed and stolen, and this robbery continues into the 21st century. From the Minor de Goya, our Welsh ancestors organised resistance to the Anglo-Norman invasion of Wales. It is time to make a stand and end this robbery of the people's land in Wales for the short-term benefit of a foreign company, RWE Energy. The Dominica Guaya light the Welsh fire of resistance. Join our Rolling Thunder campaign for the defence of Welsh land in 2017. Statement from the Afondric Mower. <laughs> Anti-imperialist action Ireland extends our solidarity to Athlondic Mar and to the people of Wales and commend their 25 year struggle to defend Welsh land from privatisation. The land and resources of Wales belong to the people of Wales and not to individuals whose ancestors acquired the land through conquest, colonisation or imperialist multinational corporations like the German RWE Energy, which we're protesting against today. From Ireland to Palestine and from Wales to Standing Rock, we extend our solidarity. In Ireland, the struggles to protect our land and water has brought hundreds of thousands of citizens into direct conflict with the state and has the potential to inflict massive potentially fatal defeat of the Fine Gael government. This shows the potential of mobilising the people in defence of our resources. If we stand and do nothing, then by our silence we will be complicit with their methods. Our enemies are united, so it is of great importance that the international working class organise and stand in solidarity with each other in our struggles against imperialism. We stand in solidarity with your protest today. Thank you very much. Mynydd Gwair yw Standing Rock Cymraeg y Cymraeg y Foes. Mae'r penderfyniad i roi tîr Comyn Cymru i'r Cwmni Almaeneg a WE Unolgi er gweithio'r protestiadau'r pobl leol a fyrad yn erbyn pobl Cymru. Mae pobl Mynydd Gwair wedi bod wrthi'n ymladd i warchod y tîr yma am dros 25 mlynedd bellach ac yn y pyn draw dyma'r cynulliad Cymru yn ei bradach chi, a throsglwyddo'r tîr drosodd i ARWE ar gyfer ffermwynt wynt di bwynt. Rhag i cywilydd, mae'r cap yma yn dweud y cyfan am y cynulliad sydd ddim ond yn emestyniad o lywodraeth prydain yng Nghymru. Rhwng 1795 a 1874 bydd im 1,006,000 a 8,6 o erwai o dir Cymru oedd yn dir comyn gael y gael, ac mae'r dwy na lladrata hyn wedi parhau i mewn i'r unfed ganrif ar ar y gael. Mae'n amser gwneud safiad i ddiweddu'r lladrad yma o dir y Cymru, mae'n hen bryd brwydro yn ôl. Brwydro yn ôl! Ar plant di gatri, ar stryd y dinas, wedi'i gwrs... The bridal path 
goes into Cundalice and this is where the construction road continues across the hills to one of the Gwine. We now, however, are going through these gates to where the road is being built. This whole area of these seven hills are full of ancient Celtic and pre-Celtic sites. Burials, farms, all sorts. So what is this? If not perhaps a burial mound? It's an odd feature to find by ear. Or is it a mot? A mound? Upon which would have been put a watchtower? And why would they put a watchtower here? Well, to guard the important footpath from Pont de Lice across the mountain, or more than likely guarding the entrance to Cum de Lice over there, which will bring you to all these ancient Celtic sites. Whatever, I think it's unusual. If you go on Google on satellite and bird's eye view, you will see a new, how unusual. And it is interesting, I'm not taking this road through it, but they are dumping stuff on it. And that should be illegal, to dump stuff on what could be a sacred burial site. So, you've got many reasons to come up here and protest. Here today have been placed up by Downites, inspired by RWE, who are going to build the wind farm site of Money the Dwyer over there. Downers is the contractors to build this construction road for the wind turbines to come up. What is today is, of course, against the wind farm but more so against this road which will ravage the environment of these hills but in Maine we protest today as a challenge to the Duke of Somerset, Acker Beaufort and the right of all English aristocrats to own Welsh land and possess it for their profit from medieval times to present times. Join us in this protest our campaigns this summer into next summer for the sake of sovereignty and land and liberty. Up to now, for 25 years, a local protest group, Sokmi, and the graziers of these mountains have resisted this development. It was finally passed after two inquiries backed by Swansea Council and the tannic traitors of the Welsh Assembly, which includes the renegade nationalist Bly Cymru, who should be thoroughly ashamed of themselves, as should Bly Cymru members throughout Wales and in this vicinity who have not made one single protest. Neither of the two Rambler groups or the Gower Society. They turned up at the inquiry, but after that, they just turned their backs on further protests. Some say this campaign and struggle is lost. RW is won through corruption, bribery, and the backing of traitors. But we say, no, if we stop this road, we stop the wind farm. 
But as important, as important, I stress, is the main issue of English aristocrats as the Beaufort Punch, who oh, I remind you, <coughs> the Beauforts were given Glindus estates by Henry IV, and also since they've been stealing Welsh land by enclosure well into the 18th and 19th century. Now is the time to stop them, and I remind again, this Beaufort forced that cowardly Swansea Council to pay £280,000, I repeat, £280,000 to build a bridge over the River Towy. They, not God or the Welsh people, it seems, possess the river bed. This Beaufort bastard also owns Ken Bryn Ridge on the Gower, much of, of southern Breckenshire and North Morgan and into Gwent. They are making immense profits off the Welsh. And what does Plaid Cymru do? Sound bites about Crown Estate. Well, Jewish Crown Estate is on the other end of Liberty Bridge. The, it's the Crown Estate and on the retail park there. Plaid Cymru, you are cowards and traitors. Now I'd ask Plaid Cymru members to reject this and come up here and start the protest. This land is the land of the red kite and you will see that we have adopted a symbol of the red kite as a symbol of survival and resistance. Thus will US radical nationalists, patriots becoming partisans and view Yadwayev like we were in the 60s. Come up here and join us in our campaign over the coming two years. And remember, on July the 6th, we shall commemorate the Rebecca attack on all going to the On September the 16th, we will commemorate all the Green Door. And from the Nath Pistol to Scotland, when the Green Door flats were raised, we shall march in a mass Christmas of the wind farm site. Patriots, you will see how far this road has come already and how far it's heading. Soon it will be heading into Cundalais across the hills towards Monith to Scotland and Somerset Field and Monith the Guard. Thus, this is a matter of urgency that you come out in protest, the first of which will be on Easter weekend when you can come up here in autonomous partisan action, putting up posters, placards, and if you wish, take a walk across these hills with placards and flags and banners. This is where you must do it, and you must do it with urgency. If you do not do this, then it is game over for Wales, because if you can't fight for your land, you certainly can't fight for independence. So remember, Easter weekend, following the 6th of July commemoration <coughs> of the attack on the Bulgoy target on the 6th of July 1843 and then a massive rally at Monmouth for Scotland to commemorate all England who was war of independence from where we shall march towards Monmouth the Guire for a mass trespass on RWE land to repossess it and on Somerset Field, we shall build a tie and an horse by the Lords of the Walvar. Build a tie and an horse, put smoke through the chimney, throw an axe, and that is our land. And it will stay our land. Now you're either up for it, or you're not up for it. But let me tell you this, if you're not fit to fight for your land and liberty, you're not fit to fight for independence. So come up here and fight!
Mi, ma non la dimmi.